This intriguing story of the tortoise and the hare is about a race between the two which teaches us the lesson that overconfidence always marks the downfall of a player even when he's apparently more competent than his opponents. Once upon a time, in a field not too far from you, there was an energetic and happy hare and a sleepy tortoise. The happy hare was called Noel and the sleepy tortoise was called Archibald. Noel the hare was fast and sleek and well aware of his speedy talents. He would take delight in taunting Archibald the humble tortoise. One bright morning, the tortoise was plodding along at his usual pace. Suddenly, bounding past him was the hare. The hare leapt this way and that frantically running circles around the patient tortoise until Archibald was dizzy. Good morning, Mr. Hare. My goodness, you are moving quickly today, the tortoise said. Haha, <laughs> that I am tortoise, snapped the hare. But I cannot say the same for you. You're as slow as a slot. This is true, Mr. Hare, this is true, replied the tortoise. You know, Taurus, said the hare mockingly, I just saw a snail slithering along faster than you. Perhaps you did, Mr. Hare. Perhaps you did, said the Taurus. All the while slowly continuing along the path. I am a very slow creature, said the Taurus. But all the same, I would like to challenge you to a race. You? You challenge me to a race? Asked the hare. Why? Taurus, I could have run a race in the time it took you to make that challenge. <laughs> and with that, the hare was seized with laughter. He laughed so hard that he fell over. The noisy laughter of the hare caught the attention of the other animals. What's the commotion? they asked. This silly tortoise has challenged me to a race. Why, I'm sure to win, said the hare. Oh, you two, do stop arguing, said a blackbird as he flew past. No, this is serious, said Noel the hare. I will prove to you all that I'm the fastest animal in the whole wide world. Okay, said Archibald the tortoise. I'll race you then. <laughs> Noel the hare laughed his head off. <laughs> Just you wait and see, said Archibald the tortoise. <laughs> I'll get Wallace the wise old owl to organize a race for us. <laughs> Wallace the wise old owl arranged the race for the next day and the fox was chosen to act as the judge. The next morning, all the animals in the field put on their best clothes, groomed their fur, and got ready to cheer the tortoise and the hare on.
the Taurus arose early and slowly made his way to the starting line. It was time for the race to begin. On your marks, growled the fox. Get set. Whoa! Don't start without me, exclaimed the hare as he dashed to his place at the starting line. On your marks, get set, go! called the fox and the race was off. Slowly, slowly, Archibald the Taurus set off. And quickly, quickly, Noel the Hare raised off and soon he was out of sight. In fact, he was so far ahead that when he looked back, Archibald the Taurus was nowhere to be seen. Gosh, Noel thought. I'll show that old Taurus. He should have known better than to think that he would beat me. I've more or less won already. I think I'll just have a little nap under this tree. It's such a hot day. Noel the hare was soon fast asleep. Meanwhile, Archibald the Taurus had been making slow but steady progress. Happily moving along one step at a time. Enjoying the scenery of the race course. and greeting the other animals along the way. Hello, friend squirrel, said Archibald. It is a beautiful day, is it not? Yes, it is, chirped the squirrel. Keep up the good work. Thank you, replied Archibald as he slowly moved along, enjoying the breeze. He plied past the bridge, He plowed past the cow shed. He even plodded past the oak tree where Noel the hare was still snoring.
while the foolish Aaron Noel slept, Archibald the tourist continued to make his way patiently along the trail. He walked along beside a pond. He could see the finish line not far ahead of him while the hare dozed away. Archibald plodded on until he came to the finishing line where Wallace the wise old owl, Fox the judge, and all the other animals in the field were gathered. All the animals clustered around Archibald cheering and shouting. Well done, well done, you're the winner! The fox exclaimed in delight. All the noise woke Noel the hair up. <sighs> Oh my, said the hare. How long have I been sleeping? The race. I must get back to the race. <laughs> you better hurry if you want to win, hooted the old owl. The tourist passed here hours ago. The hare was surprised to hear that he had been asleep for so long. I'd better get moving, he said, and darted off in a panic. The hare scampered along. And tripped and fell many times as he scrambled to make up for the time that he had lost to his long nap. The hare ran and ran as fast as he could, but it was of no use. He could see all the animals cheering and congratulating the tortoise. The hair came puffing out of breath and dragging himself along the trail.
This can't be right. He must have cheated. Cried Noel the Hare. Everyone knows I'm faster than him. Archibald the tourist didn't cheat. He is one fair and square. Slowly and surely, never giving up, Archibald passed the finish line first. Said Wallace the wise old owl. How could you have beaten me? Said the hare. You are so slow and I'm so fast. That is right, Mr. Hare, said the tourist. I may be slow, but I'm patient and steady. And I never stop going, you see, my friend, said the tourist with a smile. Slow and steady wins the race. Noel the hare looked very unhappy and sulky. Archibald the tourist felt sorry for him and tried to cheer him up. Cheer up Noel, it was only a race, Archibald said. I'm sure you'll win the next one. I'd rather we were still friends than win every race under the sun. And from that day on, they became the best of friends. And Noel the Hare never boasted again. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Yummy Fables. Keep coming back for more.